Legend of Total War here, and today I want to talk to you guys about uh, Thrones of Britannia and what my plans are going forward. Now, this is going to be a bit of a all over the place video, I think, because there's a lot of things that have been going on. It's very complicated, and there's I got to make judgment calls on things that I should talk about and things that I can't talk about, and it, it it can be a bit messy. I might go a little bit all over the place with this, but anyway, I've been doing some live streams lately, and people have been coming on asking me, you know, what am I doing in terms of Thrones of Britannia? Um, and I want to give you guys as much of the truth from my perspective as possible, so you can understand why you won't be seeing any Thrones of Britannia content on my channel, at least at this stage here. Things are always in flux, especially when things are as volatile as they are. Um, if things improve, um, I may very well cover it, and I'll try to keep you guys informed as things progress. But I was not given early access to Thrones of Britannia. I don't have access to it now. All of the other YouTubers now currently have access to it. But in addition to that, um, I don't want the game, but at the same time I do. <laughs> it's, it's weird. It's like, I don't want the game for my own enjoyment. I only want the game because I have an obligation to you guys to cover it, to do a review, so that you guys are aware of it, so that when you buy the game, you don't sit there and go, wow, why wasn't I told about how this game actually functions? Um, and I do feel a, a great deal of responsibility to be as clear as possible with you guys at, in that regard as possible, um, even if Creative Assembly doesn't like that. Anyway, so I wasn't given early access. Why wasn't I given early access? So it's a bit complicated. I gotta take it back to the start for, to you guys um, to understand. I kind of don't even really understand how I didn't get early, early access. Anyway, so um, I made that video a little while ago stating that basically I was feeling marginalized and left out of everything. It's been about six months of not getting things, not being told about things, not being invited to anything. And, you know, I've got a decent amount of influence on this on, on this platform in the Total War community. I work pretty damn hard. I feel like I've earned my place here. I'm not entitled to anything, but when you see people who have not been around as long, who have not not built up as large an, large an audience, get preferential treatment, it can make you feel very jealous and marginalized. It's unfair. Uh, that's that's how I felt most of the time. It's, it felt unfair because I never got a leg up to get to where I had to work really bloody hard to get where I am right now. And I'm not a hustler. I'm not very good at at uh, getting in touch with people and you know getting early access. You know I'm the kind of person that will message person message a person once. If they don't get back to me, I don't message them back because I got better things to do with my life than talk to people who are rude. That's sort of been my motto, and that's probably been to my detriment. But anyway, so I made that video because that's my way of trying to get attention. And it did, it worked, it got attention. And Creative Assembly, to their credit, got in touch with me, and we were able to nut things out. And, and you know, they made clear as, you know, why, why things were going the way they were. And I understand why I wasn't, you know, invited to things or given early access when others were. And I do understand that. So it was okay. But in order to make things better as well, I was given early access to a preview build of Thrones of Britannia. Now that was a temporary build. I only had access to it for a short amount of time. So I played it and unfortunately I didn't like it. Um, and that's just the truth of the matter. I didn't enjoy it. It just wasn't for me. And that really sucks when, when you like a franchise but don't like a product within that franchise. Um, that really does suck. I really wish I had enjoyed it. And, it does fall down primarily down to the campaign mechanics, um, them being dumbed down, streamlined, and just overall not very enjoyable for me. There's still many aspects to this game that other people will be enjoying, whether it be the time period, the way it looks, battles seem fine, that kind of stuff. That's all great. But in, to, to me, as much as I can enjoy those things, if the campaign mechanics aren't good, especially now that I've been playing Paradox games and I know how good they can potentially be, uh, you know, playing Crusader Kings 2 and EU4 and Stellaris, these games that are so rich in content, um, playing a game like Thrones of Britannia, which is basically a game of just move from battle to battle simulator, um, it, it was disappointing. Anyway, so I made a video on it. Um, there were certain guidelines to the, to the content that I could make. I wasn't allowed to reveal certain things, which I didn't. Um, and I... Uh, I think I was pretty careful in the things that I was saying because that video actually took me quite a few takes to do to get right. 
Um, anyway, so that video went online and it blew up a little bit on Reddit, caused a few problems for CA. They had to answer. They had to answer a lot of questions at an inconvenient time, and I do appreciate that they did that, and sort of even apologize that that I was the cause of that to many to, uh, to many extent. It was a bit of a, a shock to a lot of people that so much was removed from the game that wasn't being talked about. I w certainly wasn't the first person to reveal any information about Thrones of Britannia. And to have such a huge chunk of information that was just simply left out, a lot of people were angry about that, including myself. Anyway, um, two weeks went by and I thought, okay, well good, hopefully all that's behind us. Early access should be coming out soon. I can get back into it. Hopefully they've made some changes and willing to give it a fresh go. But what happened was two weeks later, um, had a conversation with Creative Assembly where they basically pinned the weakest possible excuse um, on me to basically not give me early access, to not include me in any of the conversation, to keep me at an arm's distance from here on out. And I really do want to state the weakest of um, of things. Th this this is actually what it is. Okay. <coughs> Part of my instructions for that the, the video was that it had to be sent to Creative Assembly first, right? The, the line literally said, send to someone, right? It didn't give an email address to go to, it just said send it. And I sent it to that person, not on their business email, but to like a personal email. And that wasn't apparently what was needed to be done. And even when I asked, oh, do you want me to send it to your email address? They said, next time do that. I was like, okay, fine. Well, I mean, they got the, they got the video. I don't, why, why send it to them? That seems a bit redundant. Um, anyway, so they pinned that on me and um, that was a bit of a shock at first. And then when I challenged it and it's like, hey, I don't think this is fair. Um, this was not clear. Um, if it had been clear, I would have done that. Why wouldn't I have done it? It seems so simple. Um, it seems like an excuse basically to just shut me out basically well whatever the the case is it doesn't matter the decision's final basically that's the gist of it so it's like okay well it's like i've been judged there is no there is no repeal there's no appeal that's just the way things are blacklist from now on i don't know if i am actually blacklist the word the wordings have always a bit vague but that's more or less the case i was like okay well i made my case as best i can i don't want to beat a dead horse and um today came around and everyone's got early access except for me. I'm just like, okay, great. So it is actually true. Despite the fact I actually did nothing wrong apart from reveal information about the game and the fact that I didn't actually like it. I didn't badmouth the game and say it's shit. Um, anyway, wasn't given early access. And you know what? Part of me is fine with that because like I said, I didn't enjoy it and you know, I kind of just want to move on with my life. This Total War side of things is just annoying now. But, at the other hand, it would have been nice to get it so that I could fulfill my obligations to you guys to do a review, do a comprehensive review. Because I didn't do a comprehensive review of it before because I thought I was going to get it again. Maybe I should have. But, like I said, when I was playing it, I wasn't enjoying it. I didn't really want to sink 50 hours into it. I had other things I wanted to do. Anyway, so I'm left being completely marginalized again, left out. Um, I know sometimes I can be difficult to deal with, but their communication is terrible. Um, they're not clear most of the times, and when I try and clarify things, they oftentimes change the fucking subject, okay? That's really goddamn annoying, but anyway, that's... I don't want to go on about he said, she said bullshit, um, but that's what it breaks down to a lot of the time, which is irritating. Now, it leads me to the next thing is, like, should I just buy the game? Um, well, no. I don't feel like I I owe anyone a purchase of this game. Um, I don't want to play it. I didn't even really want to buy it. In the th I had major concerns based on what I saw in the first place, based on some of the videos that they were coming out. It's like, I had major concerns about this game. And then when I played it, I had even bigger concerns about it. Um, but anyway, I'm not going to purchase it because... I didn't enjoy it. Why should I buy something I don't want? You know, capitalism, bitch, that kind of thing. If you want to purchase it, absolutely fine. I never want to tell people you should not buy this or you should buy it. I've always said you need to make up your own mind about it. My job is to provide information. I try and be as honest and transparent with you guys as possible. If, if I give a negative review and you 
still want to purchase the game. And I do have people messaging me saying, you know, I appreciate the review, but I still like it. Great. I hope you do enjoy it. I think a lot of people will like this game. Um, I just want to make sure that you know what you're purchasing. I know what I would be purchasing if I, if I was to buy it. And no thank you. I'm going to skip this one. Um, and that leads us to here. So relationship with Creative Assembly is very bad. I only really have one person which I have to talk to. And since I can't get... I can't... Just can't get communication done right I don't know what that's going to mean for the future of doing you know early access of Total War and so I came to actually a little bit of a realization um, um, actually just a few hours ago I was happiest doing Total War when I was much smaller when I didn't worry about early access you know when I was playing my Rome 2 stuff and I was playing Medieval 2 stuff and I, I, did, I had 1000 subscribers and I could just play whatever I wanted and I didn't have to worry about, you know, following certain content guidelines. The only people I had to worry about whose, whose opinions was you guys. And even then I didn't worry about it that much. Um, and so I thought, why don't I just go back to doing that? So why don't we just go back to fuck early access? Um, you know, fuck playing the corporate fucking game with Creative Assembly. It's not worth it. It brings me nothing but misery. I've already accepted the fact that I cannot have any influence in turning this game around, turning this franchise around in terms of streamlining it. Um, I mean, I've been at the meetings. I've been there. They know. They, they, they've heard multiple... It's not just me. They've heard multiple people say, campaign mechanics, the game needs more. You know, they've heard it and they've chosen to either not listen or to misinterpret it. Um, because this game is a complete failure in that regard to stop the streamlining of Total War games. Anyway, um, so in that regard, I feel like I've contributed as much as I can in that, in, in terms of in, uh, feedback to Creative Assembly. So let's go back to the way things were. Let's fucking forget about early access. Let's forget about you know, oh, let's cover all the news of Total War, let's just fucking play the game when it comes out, and let's not worry about anything else. So, like I said, I'm going to skip this title because it's, it's like, it's not interesting to me. But in terms of Three Kingdoms, um, look, I'm going to shift my production onto other, other games, like Paradox games. I've really been enjoying a lot of Paradox games lately, I want to play more of them um, over the next few months. But, um, I... I, whilst I am re like semi-retiring from Total War, what what that means is there will be less less campaign series of Total War coming out. Um, and if I'm going to do a campaign series, it's gotta be good. It can't be the usual shit that I've been doing lately. You know, the gimmick campaigns and the joke campaigns, things like that. Things that you know, it's funny in the first episode, but then by episode ten, it's, the joke is really old. You know, there might be times on this channel where there is no Total War content. And it'll be weird being Legend of Total War with no Total War content being made. But I think it's most important that I go back to enjoying what I'm doing. And, and you know, this is things that I've been struggling with over the past year. So I think we'll go back to that. Uh, so what I'm going to do as of releasing this video is I'm actually going to... I'm, I'm in a Discord group with the Total War influencers and I'm going to leave that influencer group, meaning that I'm not going to have any further information. Um, look, I will. Op look, they've got my email address if they want to convince me that there's a reason why I should stay, because honestly, I feel like I'm totally useless to the community. This is the thing, I feel totally useless. I waste my fucking time on these things. Like, I spent such a long time writing that feedback fucking email, and I didn't even get a response. You know, um, it's, just, it's just a one-way one-way um, communication thing. So I'm going to leave the Discord because it's a waste of my time and I'm going to focus more instead of talking with you guys because you guys, if anything, I've, I've always been pretty shitty to you guys, I feel like, in, in many ways. But this is the closest thing you're going to get to affection to me, from me. You guys are the reason I've stuck around so long and you're the reason why I make content. If it was not for your positive comments, for your uh, continued support, when you come onto the live stream and you support me, I would not.
be doing this. I would have given up on this a long time ago. It's been a very much a thankless job doing this a lot of the time in terms of working with Creative Assembly. And so maybe it's time to cut that part out of the channel and go back to let's just let's just have fun. You know, maybe views will go down. It won't you know, it won't get not getting early access, you know, whatever. It was always it was always good to get like loads and loads of views on a video. But you know, overall it, it think it turned me into a shitty content creator. So that's where I'm at. Once again, restate that if Creative Assembly wants to get back in touch with me, I'll never ignore their emails. They've got my email address, but I am no longer going to actively talk to them because they've blacklisted me. And now, guess what, bitch? I'm blacklisting them. Fuck it. You can keep your fucking early access because give me a reason why I should cover it, basically. That's what I want to say. So anyway... Hopefully, hopefully, it's been a rough ride over the past six months. It really has. Um, probably on, on you guys as well as me. We'll, we'll see how it goes from here. Um, I'm, I never give up. That's, that's the thing. And sometimes to my detriment, I, I don't like to give up. Um, I'll just continue making content. I'll definitely continue doing live streams. Um... And let's just let's just try and have fun. Let's go. Let's just go back to trying and have fun. Let's 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 just try and do that. Anyway, I think I've said everything I need to do. I'm gonna go back to making content. See you next time, fuckers.